A day after tornadoes ripped through parts of southern Michigan, we tracked down the experts who are tracking those twisters. 24-hour News 8's Ken Kolker caught up with a National Weather Service specialist. Karen, is it just the roof that ended up getting lifted off the church, or what other damage do you have? Any of the walls get no, pushed in? Weather Service Warning Specialist Jamie Belinsky is touring Chapel Hill Methodist Church, wondering what kind of tornado can do this damage. Not just to the church, but to the homes of neighbors. Roofing actually got blown close to a quarter of a mile out into the woods beyond here. Okay. Lots of questions, lots of observations. The piece of lumber that impaled a nearby trailer. Which is one reason we tell people interior room of a home, lowest level possible, because of things like this that you're seeing here. The church's brick walls untouched, a big clue. Right now, I think the main determination is determining if this is EF1 or EF2. Then behind the church, where volunteers are cleaning up chunks of the roof. There was a Four Seasons room that was over there. He leads her into the woods out back, part of the Four Seasons room jammed into some trees. And it's wedged in there as well, but I can't... I can't move it. Okay. Armed with radar, maps, and a laptop, she and a partner made the call just before 5 today. An EF-1 with about 100 mile per hour winds. Also today, the National Weather Service said a review of the storm shows its warning system worked. The warning issued at 11.27 p.m. Saturday. The twister hit Battle Creek just after midnight Sunday. In Battle Creek, Ken Kolker, 24-Hour News 8.